hello students uh, good afternoon today we are going to discuss new topic uh, yesterday i was not able to take a lecture because of the problem of laptop and technical problem it was now here i am sending you a new lecture on into the wild 1.5 and 1.7 topics have been deleted for this year okay because of this epi epidemic so let us have discussion on into the wild this is the description of a voyage this is the this is a kind of chapter in which the description of voyage has been depicted has been given <clears throat> first of all let us think about uh, actual writers information icebreakers are there but they are very much easy we will have later on so first of all take information about kiran pand uh, purandare he has born in 1961 okay here this topic has been divided into two parts first the first voyage has been given and in the second topic second voyage has been given so today we are going to discuss about the first voyage okay which has been taken from another um, book so i will explain it <clears throat> so here kiran purandare after bcom he studied environmental study at jordan hill college of education in scotland so he had uh, he has completed his education in scotland okay he is recipient of the sahitya puraskar so he has got the sahitya puraskar uh, from pune's bhai uh, madhav bagal award and best literature award given by कल्चरल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ महाराष्ट्र स्टेट फॉर इज शेखा नागजीरा सखा नागजीरा हि स्पेंड फोर हंड्रेड ड्रेज इन साइड नागजीरा एंड नियर बाय फॉरेस्ट एरिया एंड रोड दिस अवॉर्ड विनिंग बुक एंड ही हेज रिटर्न बुक एंड फॉर दिस बुक ही गॉट दिस साहित्य पुरस्कार अवॉर्ड एंड ही स्पेंड देर फोर हंड्रेड डेज मीन्स नियर अबाउट हाफ one and half year there he spent and he has written award winning book this expert has been taken expert excerpt means what here paragraph this paragraph has been given or taken from the same and uh, taken from the sakha nagzira he is a wildlife expert a bird watcher a writer and honorary wild life warden in maharashtra so he is also the founder of nisarga well ved organization so he has also found or he has also created honorary wildlife uh, or here what nisarga ved organization so he was the founder of the organization which works for the nature uh, nature con conservations conservation means what for the protection of the nature and community work around nagzira navega a uh, this navega is famous for a tiger reserve in and also so navega and uh, nagzi uh, here what the, the tiger reserve in bandara and gondia districts he also founded kikas bird club in order to spread bird farming which is popular among school going children of maharashtra so here he has created lots of movement he has created organization he is a bird watcher okay he is a writer then he is a warden in maharashtra warden wildlife warden in maharashtra okay so he has played many more roles okay and we can say that he is a one of the voyager spectator hmm 
um, he likes to uh, roam in the in in different forests so this is all about the journey about kiran pande uh, purandare so what has been given in the first part it has been written after taking this we will move to directly on the first part then we will come back we'll discuss about the second part and then i will discuss i will uh, give you all the uh, meanings and uh, new words about the part 2 so let us have first part as the name suggests the excerpt excerpt means here the paragraph has been taken is an amazing experience of the uh, writer where kiran purandare the solitary traveler solitary traveler means oh, only he was only going there okay so solitary traveler is completely lost in the jungles means forests of umbar zara he narrates how he he lost his way how he lost his uh, trail at the fall of the dusk and the terrifying turmoil he underwent thereafter and how he went into terrific a uh, condition okay and how did he come out how did you uh, how did he overcome all the difficulties has been given so there were difficulties were not there but here there was a kind of difficulty because he was lost completely in the forest he was not getting way okay all the trails had been uh, tra trails means here all the paths small paths manje na chhota vata had been covered with the bio waste we can say bio waste means what here covered with the leaves and uh, here hay so in this way he was not able to find out uh, what here the way okay the trail he also gives the detailed description of how he found his way towards the pitsari pitesari so he had been lost in one of the jungles one of the forests and then finally he found the way and he got and he found the village he heard some sound the speaker sound speaker was going on uh, and uh, because there was a wedding function was running and because of that he was able to find out the way towards pitesari okay so let us have the discussion on the first topic then we will come back Okay. Now into the wild. Part first, lost in the jungle. So here in this lecture we are going to discuss whole part. Okay. So please watch this.
ओके आई एम गोइंग टू अपलोड दिस इन पेरेंट्स कनेक्ट या द एट एंड अ हाफ आर लॉन्ग डे इन साइड द हाइड वॉज एज अ फ्रूटफुल एज द जम्भा ट्री स्टैंडिंग टॉल ऑन द एज ऑफ अंबर झरा नाव हियर ही हैज गिवन डिरेक्टली द डिस्क्रिप्शन द एट एंड अ हाफ आर लॉन्ग मीन्स ही हैड लॉस्ट अप टू एट आर्स एट एंड हाफ आर्स इन साइड इन द हाइड वॉज अ फ्रूटफुल एज एज फ्रूटफुल एज इन साइड द हाइड हियर हाइड मीन्स ही वॉज नॉट लॉस्ट हाइड हैज अ डिफरेंट मीनिंग हाइड मीन्स अ प्लेस बिल्ड एक्चुअली द मीनिंग हैज बीन गिवन अ प्लेस बिल्ड to look like its surrounding but here it is the meaning i will explain it more and more a covered structure from a covered structure from which hunter birds a birds watcher it is a can observe animal without scaring them okay a kind of place where birds or hunters can watch the animal without making trouble or without Without scaring them, अशी एक मोकळी जागा सो द एट आर अ हाफ एट अँड अ हाफ आर लॉंग डे इन साइड द हाईड वॉज अ फ्रूट एज फ्रूटफुल एज द जम्भा ट्री स्टँडिंग टॉल ऑन द एज ऑफ द अंबर झरा अँड ॲज फ्रूटफुल द डे वॉज ॲज फ्रूटफुल एज द जम्भा ट्री वाय बिकॉज दिस ही फेल्ट डिलाईट ही फेल्ट हॅपी वेन ही एंटर्ड इन टू द forest so he felt that that day inside the hide inside the hide in that hide was as fruitful as jamba tree so here he felt as beautiful or as fruitful as the jamba jamba tree were there standing tall to the age of the ambazara age means what where one uh, one uh, region start and one region ends ashiti jaga had i took entries of the avifana avifana in my field notes now here let me uh, clear one thing avifana means birds of the particular region so he started taking information or he started writing information about the birds available in the forests so i took entry of the avifana fana flora and fauna table avifana in my field note since i was alone i rushed to petezari village where i was stationed because he was alone he rushed to petezari village where i was sta- stationed where he had taken station <laughs> and i was camouflaged कॅमोफ्लाज इट मीन्स युअर वर डिस्गाइज्ड ओके द वर्ड हॅज बीन गिवन हिअर डिस्गाइज्ड बाय कवरिंग इट टू मेक इट ब्लेंड मेक इट ब्लेंड मीन्स मिक्सर इन विद द सराउंडिंग सो ही हॅड डिस्गाइज्ड हिमसेल्फ टू मिक्स विद द सराउंडिंग अँड हे डिस्गाइज्ड कम अँड ही डिस्गाइज्ड हिमसेल्फ ओके he camouflaged himself he camouflaged the hide took my essential and he took the essentials and he came out the hide towards the hide and stretched out to my heart's content stretched out now here the meanings are different stretch out actually stretch out means what here sleep completely but here not sleep he just move ahead okay and stretch out to my heart's content means with full confidence heart kane mana pasun heart content uh, means to fullest level of the satisfaction okay then i lifted my camera bag and took the familiar trail to petezari now he lifted his camera and took the trail trail means a path wat ranatna jayla ji wat aste tila it is called as path to petezari negotiating the webbed leaves of thick wood and moha trees 
now negotiating means not uh, dealing here actual meaning is dealing with negotiating means do not uh, create any agreement in between okay so here negotiating means dealing or uh, making uh, victory over the webbed leaves of thick wood means here the webbed leaves are making uh, were making difficulty in the path of the writer so negotiating the webbed leaves of the thick wood and moha trees trying to make animal sound trying to make uh, sorry minimal sound minimal sound means very low sound i was uh, trading trading means what here moving cautiously cautiously among the woods woods means here forest walking alone in a jungle means forest needs more alertness than walking with a companion yes when you walk in the dense forests you have to take lots of information okay so walking alone in a jungle need more alertness you must be alert more than with your companion when companion with you you have four eyes four hand and four legs so you are able to fight with the any animal if some if wild animal comes in front of you but when you are alone you have only two eyes means what here two eyes means what you are not able to fight with the big animal so walking alone in a jungle need more alertness than walking with the companion i was alone here like a fox now i was alone here like a fox it means that see when a fox lives alone he uh he kills or he uh, goes for hunting uh, that fox goes for hunting alone he does not go for hunting in gang okay so i was alone like a fox means as a fox keeps alone himself like he was also alone following the trail silently watching with the wide open eyes my ear were grasping a variety of sound just when a familiar sound stunned me khak 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 hoz khak so this is the sound which has been which had been made by the monkeys okay so he heard the sound khak 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 hoz khak it was the langur la, sorry langur alarm uh, call langur means monkeys it was the langur's alarm call the leader of the gang of langurs was sitting on the tall tree making alarm call okay and he was sitting on the tall tree he was making alarm clock alarm call and the langurs langurs were making alarm call alarm call means they were awakening they were sending summons or they were sending uh, here uh, a message to other people other uh, wildlife or other animals and they called out of the fear for life rest of the lang uh, langur langur uh, what here brigade continued raising the alarm calls and rest of the langurs were continually spreading this alarm call the network of alarm calls was expanding its range as the petrified langurs speeded to the tears or to the trees near and far and secured their places on tree tops now here the network of alarm calls was expanding now one founded that one made alarm call one langur made alarm call and this alarm call was being spread by other rest of the langurs okay and here the network of alarm call was expanding or expanding its range as the petrified petrified means what very frightened langurs okay very frightened langurs speeded to the trees near and rest of the langurs just make a uh, created speed or they just ran speedily and they settled on the top of the tree and secured their places on top uh, tree top tree tops all this upheavals was created upheavals means confusion or frightening situation confusion in short all his this upheavals 
all these upheavals upheaval was created by only one animal's presence that is a leopard why chimp why the langur was crying because he found the presence of leopard in this forest and he was awakening all the langurs or all the animals to stay safe from the leopard because he had come to search his uh, prey okay he came for hunting so many animals make alarm calls when they see a predator and here what many animals make alarm calls when they see a predator like tiger or leopard nearby the langur is most reliable when it comes to find clues about the presence of the apex predator in the jungle and the langur is the most reliable everybody uh, everybody is reliable on or here what langur is the most reliable everybody believes in langur when it comes to find the clues about the presence of any presence of any apex predator now apex means here apex topmost predator in the jungle it it has been given there the mighty elusive now mighty means very strong elusive means what a uh, rarely seen elusive okay uh, elusive means what here rarely seen elusive leopard of amber zara was out of its lair out of his lair means here den secret place he was on the prowl so prowl he was on its prowl prowl means here to search in he was in the search of animal to to have the stealthily moving figure in spotted gold black cloak was spied by these langurs and the stealthily moving means very slowly moving figure in spotted gold black cloaks now cloak means fur a kind of fur blanket like covering okay on it means it is usually found on the body of leopard or लेपर्ड टाइगर महती है तुम्हारा त्याने मटल गोल्ड ब्लैक क्लोक ती का पट्टे अत गोल्डन येलो कलर से गोल्डन स्पॉटेड गोल्डन ब्लैक क्लोक क्लोक मीन्स भिसे प्राणी अशा भिसे प्राणी एनिमल हैविंग फर लाइक गोल्ड फर गोल्ड एज वेल एज ब्लैक ब्लैक स्प स्ट्रीप इज अवेलेबल ओके ऑन द लेपर्ड सो इट इज ट्रांसलेटेड इन दिस वे what spied spied means what here caught or we can say spied means found by these langur okay and the sign of or the presence of a leopard was found by the langurs and they were crying okay uh, to make uh, to alert all the animals and they were rest of the langurs were uh, reaching and secure for uh, secure their place for tree top even the small one from the legion of langurs were giving alarm calls means rest of the langurs small uh, see small ones from the legion legion means a great number of people of thing tancha madle je langurs hote chote chote ji pille hoti were also giving alarm check check i stayed i stayed put and i stayed put means what here he fixed his place he stop at one place gogged the leader langur's target site and scanned the area visually now gogged means here major and he measured the leader langur's target site and he saw the langur and measured the target site of langur from where he uh, was uh, watching uh, where he was watching and screaming so he found the way he found the site of langur's target site and scanned the area visually took some steps again stop a fresh scat was lying before me on the trail and when he was staying uh, he stopped for a while he looked at the langur from where uh, uh, from where which site Langur was watching and crying. Now 
he just stopped for a while and then start again but when he started his journey he stopped because a scat was lying scat means dung okay drop uh, animal dropping shen asta kiwa te animal dropping thodkat waste animal waste a fresh scat was lying before me on the trail so he found scat or the dropping animals dropping on his trail tyacha vate var te padlelo asa taaja taaja dislo the bluish purple flies were hovering over it hovering so the bluish purple flies flies masha were hovering over it were moving okay hovering means what here moving in the air over it i was sure that the leopard was somewhere near the distance alarm call of four honor uh, horned antelope was adding to the chaos now the distant alarm calls of four horned antelope four horned antelope char ji singa astat ani parat don astat ji so four horned antelope uh, made the situation chaos 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 means what here confusion like scary scared uh, made both of the or the, those uh, the antelope made the situation very scary it was sure that a leopard was somewhere near the distance alarm call of the four horned antelope was adding to the chaos i barely walked around 50 meters and stopped and he just he was able to walk only 15 meters and he stopped the big cat was not visible means what here he went ahead okay he went ahead but he was not he was not able to find the big cat so i have taken next sentence i had apparently entered in the sanctum sanctorum of the miracle called leopard now here let me explain the sanctum sanctorum means here the holy of holies a place or region where few are allowed as a secret important work is done means nobody went or nobody goes in this place so in this way in the place the writer had gone there i had apparently means completely entered into the sanctum sanctorum of a miracle called leopard so he had already went into the area of the leopard but the big cat was not visible but he was not able to see the big cat means what leopard it is an elusive animal means what here rare, rarely seen animal the surroundings were reminding me that i was all alone time and again and the surrounding reminded him that he was alone and again i moved forward on the trail to petizari the finding alarm call uh, fading alarm calls were still heard in the background so when he was moving up uh, forward so he was hearing that alarm very fading manner okay he was uh, hearing means the density of the sound was becoming very less i could tell instinctively that the leopard had moved away and he said that he could talk instinctively instinctively without conscious thought by natural response so he could say that the leopard had moved away to pude kud tari nigun gela hai meanwhile i saw a man standing at a distance which a stick in his hand as i approached means he reached towards the person he appeared spooked he appeared spooked means here frightened he was frightened 
ड्यू टू द अलार्म कॉल ऑफ द लेपर्ड एंड ही हर्ड माइट हैव हर्ड द अलार्म कॉल ऑफ द लेपर्ड एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस ही वॉज फ्राइटन एंड ही बिकेम फ्राइटन वी ग्रीटेड इच अदर ही वेंट नियर टू द पर्सन बोथ ऑफ देम ग्रीटेड विथ इच अदर एंड ही वॉज राजू इस्कापे फ्रॉम पिटेजारी ही हैड कम टू कलेक्ट लॉग्स मीन्स लाकड स्मॉल पीस ऑफ वुड्स बट रिट्रीटेड ड्यू टू द लेपर्ड्स मूवमेंट बट ही रिट्रीट मीन्स केम बैक रिट्रीटेड केम बैक सो ही रिट्रीटेड ड्यू टू द लेपर्ड्स मूवमेंट ही फाउंड द लेपर्ड्स मूवमेंट इन द फॉरेस्ट सो ही वॉज अबाउट टू कम ही अबाउट टू गो राजू वॉज अमेज एट माय रेग्युलर सॉलिटरी विजिट टू अमर झरा एंड ही गॉट शॉक्ड आफ्टर नोविंग दैट द पर्सन person regular regular solitary uh, visit to amber zara and the have which is known for which is known the haven for tigers so here tigers are too much tigers were there and because of that the raju got amazed by knowing that the, the knowing that the writer used to come in this amber zara forest which is famous for the tiger haven for tiger means lots of tigers were there lots of uh, species of tigers were there so leopards and sloth bear we stopped under a kusum tree to take a break we both felt a bit, uh, bit relaxed now we were four eyes four hand with a stick then we both resumed our walking uh, walking tour then they again resumed their walking tour then what there was one tiny tiny means very small track that broke out to the main trail and there was a tiny track means there might maybe there was a road okay so that road broke this uh, tiny track that tiny track broke the broke out of the main trail ji ji vaat janar hoti ti dubhangli thodkyat ek rasta asa la ki ti dushikade dali i will take this route you go straight said raju raju said to the writer that i will take this route you take this route and turn right i kept walking straight until i climbed a familiar hill uh, hillock now here the raju said that raju said the path towards uh, the village but he uh, and he went for searching logs and here what the writer kept walking straight and until i climbed a familiar hillock i crossed the cement pillar and stone stacked by forest department and he just crossed that stone which is fixed by the forest department corporation to make the boundary of the forest compartment okay took another trail now after going ahead he took another trail after climbing down so he after climbing down he took another trail walked across a beautiful uh, mahura tree loaded with reddish brown leaves the ground under the tree was cleaned very well because of the lots of tree, uh, leaves below the under the tree there was uh, what here uh, the ground was uh, clear under the tree in short the ground was clear under the tree the thought instantly flashed flashed means what struck in the mind of the writer i had lost my way and he that time he came to know that he had found he had lost his way next moment he found i found another dusk trail dusky trail next time next moment he found another trail which was hide by the bio west the pan gavat वगैरे सगळे त्याच्यावर ती थोडी झाकून गेली होती hastily i took that trail which took me from the narrow uh, gorge to an open field narrow gorge to an open field narrow gorge means what here meaning has been given a narrow gully means narrow path between hillocks chhotasha yacha khind thodkyat ashi je jhada asta ashi jo dongar asle 
तर त्याच्यामधनं जी वाट असते तिला खिंडीमधनं जी वाट असते त्याला आपण गोर्ज टू अन ओपन फील्ड अँड देअर ही वेंट देअर अँड ही सॉ अ ओपन फील्ड द एरिया वॉज सराउंडेड बाय हिलॉक्स ऑफ ड्राय डिलिशियस ट्रॉपिकल फॉरेस्ट अँड देअर वेअर सराउंडेड बाय द हिलॉक्स ऑफ ड्राय डेसिडस ट्रॉपिकल फॉरेस्ट डेसिडस इज हॅव्हिंग ट्री दॅट शेड 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 लिव्ह इन द ड्राय रिजन अँड दे फाउंड दॅट डेडिशियस सॉरी डेसिडस ट्रॉपिकल फॉरेस्ट ट्रॉपिकल मीन्स ऑफ द ट्रॉपिक्स ट्रॉपिकल फॉरेस्ट ट्रॉपिकल ट्री ओके डेसिडस ट्रॉपिकल फॉरेस्ट एंड धिस पाथ धिस एरिया वॉज सराउंडेड विथ hills in short small mountains or small hills i turn back to spot the sun and he turn back to spot the sun now the geographical west was set now the geographical west was set the dusky trail had vanished now the geographical west was set means what here because of the geographical west he was not able to find out the uh, the path the dusky trail had vanished good heavens i was lost and he came to know that he was lost completely lost in the jungle that too at a very dreadful time the sun was melting down like a fleeting runner fleeting runner in short word the sun was setting very fast fleeting runner fleet very fast fleeting runner soaked in my own sweat okay here i am going to stop because 36 minutes are there and you are not able to see this apart from so i am uh, stop i am uh, going to take a rest here and uh, next part i will discuss in the next lecture okay thank you